All right, guys. So for this video, I'm using the Curls Blueberry Bliss line, and I um, detangled with the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. So my hair had been straight for three weeks, so it was definitely time to wash it. So after my hair was detangled and washed, I'm now applying my deep conditioner. So on one half of my head, I use the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Conditioner. On the other half, I used the True um, Intensive Deep Treatment Mask because I ran out. So um, this is my hair after it has been freshly deep conditioned, as you can see. I sat under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes with the deep conditioner under the setting cap. So I always do that um, whenever I deep condition. So this is what my hair looks like. So we are now going to go ahead and start doing the twist out. I don't use any combs or anything um, or like section my hair when I'm doing it. I just kind of use my fingers. So. I always start at the back of my hair, so I take a little section out at the back, and then I twist the rest up at the top. This is a um, crocodile clip that I've used, and you guys, if you have a lot of hair, use this clip because it literally holds all of your hair in place with only having to use one tool. And I was like, why haven't I gotten this like five years ago? I don't know. But if you have not tried one of those, definitely try it out. Like, they really, really help for sure. So definitely check that out. All right, so the process that I use, guys, is I always follow the LLC method. So in each section, I apply leave-in conditioner all over my hair, and then I follow that, I seal that in with an oil, so I use coconut oil. I have a big industrial-sized jar of coconut oil from Costco, so I just took some of that and I put it in a mason jar to make it easier. But for each section, this is what you see I do. I'm putting the um, curls twist and shout cream on first. This is after I've already put all my leave-in and the oil. And then I follow that in with their curl control jelly. So I will use that. Or if you have an equal solid gel, I will use that. Um, and then I use my Denman brush to brush it in and make sure all the products are evenly distributed in each subsection. And then I just proceed to go ahead and do the twist out. All right, so I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit, do this exact same thing. Now I'm just gonna take a middle section of my hair and again, apply the leave-in and coconut oil on the whole section. And then I'm gonna do my subsections with the twist and shout cream, the control jelly or your gel. And then I'll just go ahead and do the twist out. All right, so that middle section is done. So now we're at the top of my hair. So I'm gonna take a section where um, on my crown of my hair, so take that back. Um, and then I'm gonna use a comb. This is gonna be the only time I use a comb just to make a part on which I want my hair to fall. And I generally do that on the left side of my head. So I'm just gonna make a part and then follow the exact same process. Now on the front of my head, I'm going to use a edge control. So definitely use that to kind of get those edges laid down a little bit. So I'm, I did put some edge control right along the, the front of my hair and I brushed it down first and then I did the twist.
guys. I just kind of slowed it down for you guys again just to see this last section here. So same thing with the um, twist and shout cream or whatever butter that you guys use to do your twist outs. Then follow that with the gel. So I'm using the control jelly. Put that edge control on the edges to brush it and twist it out. Alright, so that's it. This is the next morning. Um, when I sleep, I just put a sand cap on my hair. That's it. Um, my hair, of course, was not dry by this time, um, which is fine. It happens. Um, I expected it not to be dry because I didn't wash my hair until about 6 o'clock that evening. So, I knew that it was not going to dry in time. So all I do is take my dryer with the diffuser on the end and then I just take it and kind of do some spot drying wherever it's damp. Now also I do not take out my twist outs with dry hands so I always put some type of oil on my hands which is generally the coconut oil. Um, that to me it helps to make sure that my hair is not getting frizzy. So whenever I'm taking out my twists, if my hands have a little oil on them, they generally don't get frizzy, so that really helps. Now when I undo my twists, as you can see, I hold, I uh, unravel the ends, and then I hold one strand of hair, and then with my other hand, I just kind of unravel the other strand of hair. So that also helps to cut down on any frizz, and it also helps to keep the definition of the actual twist. Although on this twist style, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, my hair was still pretty straight. Um, my curls were still very loose from having it straightened for so long. So I wasn't, you know, too excited about how this twist style looks. It just kind of looked like wet, wavy hair to me, which is not usually how my twist outs look. They're generally, like, really plump and juicy and, you know, full of definition. But until my curls bounce back and revert back completely, it's probably going to look like this. So it's going to take me probably two to three weeks um, for my curls to revert back completely as I'm used to. Um, but in any event, this is the twist out and this is how it looks. So as you can see, um, I'm trying to kind of, you know, separate it a little bit to kind of help it look a little fluffy, but it, it wasn't really working as, as much as I wanted it to. But that's fine. Um, at least you can see the process that I use, and that always stays the same whenever I do twist out. But the result is always going to be, it may be a little different depending on the products that I use. But these products, I think that they work really nice. Like my hair was very shiny. It was not dry. It was very soft. So like it wasn't crunchy or hard or anything like that. So I would definitely suggest trying out the curls blueberry bliss line and again this was a twist and shout cream and the um i think it's called curl control jelly but i have the products listed of course below but this is just kind of you know what my hair looks like it's a close-up i'm sorry if the angle is off a little bit but i'm still trying to you know figure this whole thing out <laughs> but as you can see my hair definitely has shine and all of that good stuff so definitely check out those products and this is my twist out. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. Ooh.